Well, this map shows where we found stasis pods so far. Hey, if you drew a line between the pod vocations, ovations, locations, it looks kind of like Megatron. Here's that thing on his nose, here's the... Oh. The point is, now we have an idea of where to search for more pods. The more pods we find, the better our chances of finding fugitives nearby to recapture. In this grid alone, there are probably... Ow! <laughs> and that, funny bot, is what happens when someone sticks his finger in my audio receptor. For a rule book with arms, you fight dirty. <laughs> Do it again, Strongo. Do it again. Guys, please. I I'm just trying to get us better organized. You got lucky. I was about to make my move. My foot is about to move you right back to Cybertron. Enough! <laughs> Um, should I reschedule our map presentation for tomorrow? My team never gave Optimus trouble like this. Really? What was his secret? I'm not sure. I guess I could try asking him. <clears throat> Hello? Optimus? I don't know if this is the way to reach you in whatever realm you're in, but the last time you appeared, it was in a reflection, so... This is ridiculous. I just... Optimus, I could use some advice. My, my team doesn't always listen to me, and it makes me wonder if I'm even cut out to be a leader. I'm... I'm worried. If I can't figure out how to lead, it could be a... One... Two! Whoa. Whoa. Disaster. One... Two... My 1978 Volcano Avenger machine! <laughs> Scrap. You know, when Optimus told us to stop doing something, we stopped. Why? Because Optimus had this great commanding voice. It was... <clears throat> Strong arm. <gasps> Sideswipe. <gasps> Grimlock. Huh? There is no time for this foolishness. We have a galaxy relying on us and a mission to complete. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, sir. But... <laughs> That's the worst Starscream imitation ever. <laughs> Starscream? I picked up a Decepticon signal. It appears to be coming from Crown City. How do you know? This afternoon on this wooded trail, hikers found a strange object which was then brought to the Crown City Museum of Natural History and Sciences. As imaginations run rampant, scientists are working to open the bizarre artifact. Sources tell us the object appears completely alien to them, with another source speculating that there might be something or someone locked inside. Why is everyone so bummed? Humans found a stasis pod for us. Let's walk in there and get it. Our goal is not to be seen by Earth's population, remember? Still, we need that pod before the humans accidentally free what's inside. No problem. I could pose as a dashing archaeologist. I'll ask for a tour. Once I'm in, I'll open the loading dock doors for you. Then you grab the pod. Hmm. Sounds almost reasonable. Let's find a tarp to cover Grimlock for the trip into town. This'll be a blast and a half! What should I wear? I don't know, Rusty. It could be dangerous. You'd have to promise to stay by me the whole time. Don't worry, Dad. You're in charge. I'll do whatever you say. Though I might not wear the hat. I'm Nevada Fleber, famous archaeologist. 
I discovered the Flingy tribe in the lost city of Pantra. I'm surprised you don't recognize me. And I'm here with my intern. International adventurer. I'm McPlank. We just got back from Cartagasca, where Professor Fleeber helped me recover the Samurabi idol. Helped you? I wouldn't say... Anyway, we're thinking of donating the idol to Crown City, which could mean a lot of publicity and ticket sales for your museum. So I thought a tour... Yes, of course, uh, right this way. You promised to follow my lead, Mick Plank. Lead on. Ah, you are really going to appreciate Earth Museums. Ah, I learned some fascinating stuff in places Ugh. like... Uh... Finally, that thing smells like fix its tread grease. Somebody help me with this! Ew. <laughs> ah, Classic! <laughs> yeah! Well, put your arms down! No! Stop yelling! Uh, not uh, in my face! Uh, what? No! Uh, get away from me! Stop! Uh, uh, Really? Welcome! You're just in time for the diversion! What are these statues of human beings so happy about? Well, they're cowboys. They were independent, carefree adventure seekers who transported groups of equine and bovine mammals across this continent's western region before it was settled. It, it was an exciting time. I understood exactly none of that. Me either. Let's go find the stasis pod. Stop! Yeah, I think I know what I did wrong before. I was just doing Optimus's voice, not his body language. By dividing our search efforts, we will be more efficient. Each of you shall choose a... <sighs> Stay here. If anything goes wrong, evacuate via the loading docks. Bet B wishes his team was as crackerjack as we. Russell? Pacific Plank couldn't find the treasure, but like McPlank always said, McPlank has his ways. McPlank knew he should get help, but he also knew the stasis pod could burst open at any moment. McPlank had to reseal the pod himself. McPlank was in big trouble this time. Last I remember, my boss Gontrail sent me to smash the stabilizers off a bot who crossed him. Then I woke up in that tiny box. <laughs> no one puts Terra Shock in a tiny box! <laughs> Walls are closing in. Hard to breathe. You gotta get out. Gotta find Gontrail! <laughs> Ways out. I'm not sure, but if you want to wait here, I'll try and find someone who. Russell? That you? Hey, are you the bot that Contrail sent me to wise up? Probably not. <laughs> of course you're gonna say that. What do you think I am, stupid? Is that a trick question? I am getting out of here, and I'll smash any bot that gets in my way! What do we do? We get in his way. Come on! 
Sideswipe, you make walking a bore. Have you seen a metal buffalo come through here? Big head, small brain. Fix it. Have you been hearing this? Can you give us an ID? Yes, sir. From the description, particularly the small brain part... <laughs> it sounds like Terrashock, a buffaloid considered the most brutal enforcer on Cybertron. That's what was in the pod? Great. Once a buffaloid gets moving, it's nearly impossible to stop. Nice to see you, McPlank. We were gonna stay together, remember? Come on, Dad, I found the Decepticon! I'll find Terrashock, back in a flash! Team, listen to me. This is Bumblebee, your team leader. <laughs> if you find the fugitive, do not engage him. Instead, summon your team, mates, and bring the Decepticon to the museum's entrance grand hall, where we can attack it together. Right. See, I realized I wasn't adding the inspirational team stuff like Optimus would have, so... <laughs> you know what? Let's get to the museum entrance. What are you doing here? Did Contrail send you? He said I was his only enforcer. No need to call the rest of the team for this genius. <laughs> Ain't nobody stealing my job! Yeah. And we'll add a 1305 destruction of private property to your list of crimes. You're under arrest, Decepticon. <laughs> somehow. But in an instant, water can also become a monster. <laughs> Worse! Yeah, strong arm, I did catch the bad guy. All by myself. And no, I don't accept your apology. <laughs> 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 Anyone seen the rest of the team? Maybe the team's just not into your whole... I'm gonna lead like Optimus plan. I, I just... I, I don't know what else I can... <laughs> Finally. It's just me, then. End of the line, Decepticon! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's okay, folks. Nothing to see here. The museum's been working on some new animatronics. Watch. Hey, big guy. What's the density of mercury? The density of mercury is, uh, bzz, error, bzz, error. Still working out the bugs, obviously. The museum's almost ready to reopen. See you inside soon. Dad, that was a pretty good idea back there. Well, I had a pretty good teammate helping me make it work. Strongarm, Sideswipe, Grimlock, this is Bumblebee. The Decepticon is loose in the city. I'm heading to the loading docks and going after him. Bumblebee out. Why didn't you order them to meet you there? Isn't that what Optimus would have done? Probably. Bumblebee? Optimus, I tried to call you. I am permitted to make contact only when the Primes believe your need to be dire. I hope you are making progress. Actually, now's not a great time for me to talk, Optimus. A Decepticon is free in a populated area. I see. You and your team will pursue and apprehend it, I assume. My team. I'm not doing a very good job of leading them, Optimus. No matter how much I try to be like you. Perhaps. That is the problem. Bumblebee, you are not me. You can say that again. You misunderstand. I only... Optimus? He just disappeared. I hope he's all right. Did he say anything before he went? That I'm not him. Maybe Optimus didn't mean that you not being him is a bad thing. I mean, you're you. You've been so busy trying to give orders like someone else. What would you do if you just tried to lead like... you? Sorry, Lieutenant. I just had some bad luck. That thing has a really hard head. We're going after Terra Shock. Together. Come on. Sir, do you have a plan? If no one's giving a Buffaloid orders, it feels lost, alone. But if someone steers the Buffaloid... The Buffaloid will go where you tell it to. Maybe even right into a stasis pod. Lieutenant, that's brilliant. Even better than that, Cadet. It's gonna be fun. Let's roll out! Our cover! Forget our cover. We'll deal with that after we capture Terra Shock. Do like I do. Yeah! Go! 
boy Grimlock. I like the sound of that. No way B and his team keep their cover after this. Like McPlank always says, McPlank has his ways. Strong arm, you got a speaker? Blue button. If you like that action, folks, come on over to the Stunt Car and Truck Festival in Wichita County. Bring the kids. Where's Wichita County? That was a blast and a half, don't you guys think? Blast and a half! What would cowboys do after a successful mission? Just what we're doing, Grimlock. Right off into the sunset. Together. Woo! <laughs>